Welcome back to the Timeline Ranch. So today I'd like to talk about building soil fertility in the desert. This is the Chihuahuan Desert where I'm at. So people that have been following my channel probably know what direction I'm going to go with this conversation, but I'm going to have it anyway. So over the past nine years, I've been slowly but surely digging out this end of property catchment. So what this allows me to do, every time you get about an inch of rain, depending on the soil type, you know, it varies across the ranch, but you lose about one cubic yard of soil and that washes all downstream. So if I didn't have this end of property catchment, it'd be going on my neighbor's property and on downstream and end up in the river and out at the delta of the river eventually, the Rio Grande. So over the years, all this organic material, you see grass, the ocotillo, yucca, everything that's breaking down along with the, the stone that's breaking down slowly washes down. And if you want to find the most fertile soil on this property, you go along the creeks because it deposits along the edges. But you can also find it up here in these cracks in these rocks because that's where it starts. But without this pond, I'd be giving all that to my neighbor. So... Yeah, it's taken me a while to build the pond, but now it works for me day and night. Every time a little rain comes in, the bacteria that's down here in the water is breaking all that organic material down for me 24-7. Towards the end of the dry season, once a year, when the water's way down, I can get in here with my excavator and harvest all that good soil and redistribute it around the property where I'm trying to grow trees and different plants. I've already done done that by digging this, shelving this down to, you know, soil that didn't have any bacteria in it and then redepositing some of that soil that I harvested along the edge of the creek on top of it. And you can see the this is the first grow season last year was that it was here and the grass has already taken off had a lot of wildflowers. Pecan trees are growing well. I, when I plant these pecan trees, I take two shovels of this broke down organic material out of the pond and put it in the bottom of the hole for the, each pecan tree when I plant them. So yes, it took a lot of effort, but it works all the time for me. If you were to dig swells, yeah, it's gonna deposit in there as well, but you're not gonna have the water source there for the in this environment this is chihuahuan desert anything above ground will dry out unless it's a large volume of water like the pond here and once it dries out the breakdown process stops so this is how you achieve that all year round in the chihuahuan desert well that's all i have for today i'll talk to you on the next one